So this is the 2013 Leave Insert Ordinary Level Paper 2 and we're looking at question number 3. Part A says L is the line 3x plus 2y plus 18 equals 0 and you're asked to find the slope of L. So what we want to do here is rearrange this into the format y equals mx plus c. When we rearrange it into this format uh, the c value will be the, oh, sorry, the m value will be the slope which is what we're looking for, find the slope m. Okay, so <coughs> we can move the 3x and the 18 across. So that would leave us with 2y is equal to negative 3x and negative 18. So I've just moved this across the equal sign to become negative and the plus 18 the same. <coughs> that become positive. Uh, positive. Okay, so now we have 2y equals minus 3x minus 18, but we want to have just y on the left. So we've got to divide everything by 2. So that's y equals minus 3 over 2x, or minus 1.5 if you like, and minus 9 here when we divide that by 2. So the slope is negative 3 over 2. That's the slope of the line. Okay, part B says the line K is perpendicular to L and cuts the axis at the point 7, 0. Find the equation of K. Okay, so you have, for the, finding the equation of the of a line, we have this formula from the tables book. Y minus Y1 is equal to M bracket X minus X1. So we want to find the equation of K. So to find the equation of the k of k, we're going to need we're going to need the slope, and then we're going to need x one and y one also. So we need a point on the line and the slope of the line. Well, it tells us that k is perpendicular to l. So if there's a fact about perpendicular lines that you should know the uh, slope of uh, the line L we found in part A is minus 3 over 2 and the slope of K if they're perpendicular you flip the slope and change the sign so instead of minus 3 over 2 it'll be positive 2 over 3 perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other so that's going to be our uh, M value for the line we're looking for 2 or oh, sorry wrong color that's going to be the m value here and for the x1 y1 we can just use any point on the line so we know that the point seven zero is on the line they tell us that in the question so that can be our x1 and our y1 so now we're just going to sub them in so we've got y minus zero is equal to two thirds by x minus x1 which is 7 and when we tidy that up that is y is equal to 2 thirds x when you multiply this out y minus 0 is y 2 thirds by x is 2 thirds x and 2 thirds by negative 7 is minus 14 over 3 you can leave it in this form they don't tell you to write it in any particular form so that's the end of part b <coughs> Okay, part C says find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the lines L and K. Okay, so that means we have to do a simultaneous equation with both lines. So we've got, well, there's a few ways you could do this. We can take uh, two versions of the line that are in terms of Y. So in other words, we can take this version of L and this version of K and deal with those. That would be one way to do it. So y y equals minus three over two x minus nine minus three over two x minus nine, and then we got y equals two thirds x minus fourteen over three. Y equals two thirds x. Minus 14 over 3. So there's our two lines L and K, and we have to find the point of intersection.
So what we can do is, if y is equal to this and y is equal to that, we can just let both, uh, we can let this equal to that, the yellow equal to the yellow. So that would give us minus 3 over 2x minus 9 is equal to 2 thirds x minus 14 over 3. And now we can move things around. So we might move the minus 3 over 2x over here. It'll become positive. And the minus 14 over 3 here, and that will become positive as well. So that would give us 14 over 3 minus 9 on the left is equal to 2 thirds x plus 3 over 2x on the right. So we can just do this on our calculators. So 14 over 3 minus 9, which would give us, that gives us minus 13 over 3. And on the left, 2 thirds x plus 3 halves x, so that's 2 thirds plus there, 3 halves, that's 13 over 6, 13 over 6 x, so, but we want to find x, so if we divide both sides by 13 uh, over 6, or well, what we could do here is multiply both sides by by six, uh, well, let me see, yeah, multiply both sides by six. If we multiply this by six, multiply this by six, and then this here by six as well. Well, here the sixes cancel, leaving me with 13x. And over here, three into three goes once, three into six goes twice. So two times negative 13, which is minus 26. So minus 26 is equal to 13x, and now I can divide both sides by 13. They cancel here, leaving me with x. And over here, minus 26 divided by 13 is minus 2. So x is equal to minus 2, and that's the end of the question.